Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Leo's weekly guidance message for June 13th through June 19th. In this message, Leo, we're going to tap into the energy surrounding you this week. We're going to see what's challenging you and where this is all headed if you stay in this energy. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice moving forward. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe. Everyone's welcome, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive in here, Leo, and see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this week. Most important message here for Leo, Spirit, what do my Leo friends need to know? So Leo, I feel here that you are walking away from a situation finally and choosing your own happiness, okay, moving towards your own happiness. I feel like this is happening very slowly. It's a very slow, excruciating process, okay. Ten of Cups, Eight of Cups, Knights of Pentacles, slowly but surely. Now, we're going to clarify all of this here in a minute. I do feel here, Leo, there is a new beginning that is being presented or is going to come up in your energy here within the next couple weeks, and you're going to have a decision to make. Now, what I will say here, Leo, is this decision is involving yourself, what you need to be happy, and if you've taken the time to heal from whatever situation you're moving forward from. I do feel like you are kind of up in the air or will be up in the air about this decision back and forth, okay? Now, and we're going to clarify this here in a minute, Leo, but I will say in this energy, wait. Wait to make a decision. You are at a crossroad, but I still feel there's some energy that you need to release involving this past situation. And as long as you're still holding on to this energy, this connection is never going to work. In fact, when you are in the same energy that you are in when you left the past situation, you're most likely going to repeat that past cycle just with a different person. So be mindful of this energy. Okay. The death energy here, Leo, this is a transformative energy. This is transformation. This is endings that bring in new beginnings okay liberation okay i do feel here taking this time for yourself is going to be important getting realigned with where you see yourself headed back focused on your goal honestly leo what i see coming out here in this situation here this new opportunity is definitely going to be in better alignment um, with your future, where you see yourself headed, but you're not there yet. I don't feel like you're there. Your energy isn't there yet, only because this ending has just recently happened. So let's clarify all of this before we pull some advice. Now, if you find the messages helpful or resonating, give it a thumbs up. We're going to start here with the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles for Leo's energy. What do my Leo friends need to know? So a lot of cards that are symbolizing balance, a lot of cards that are symbolizing healing, okay? moving forward, but this has been a sacrifice and it hasn't been easy. 
I will say with the Eight of Cups energy coming out here, there was a significant lesson that you had to learn involving that past person. And for a lot of you, this is going to have to do with putting yourself first or trusting your intuition. Let's clarify the challenge here, Leo, with the Star, the Fool, and the Knight of Wands. Please and thank you for Leo's energy. Of course it is. So I do feel like you are in the process of releasing or not necessarily releasing the person, guys. I feel like you've already walked away from the person a while ago. But when you still compare, when you still contrast, when you still, like, is this person like that person? That's still a form of holding on to the past energy, okay? Every person is going to come in differently. I know it's difficult, especially when we've been through difficult situations, but comparing the current person to the past person is sabotory energy, and it could possibly cause disruptions in the connection. So just be mindful of that, okay? Now, even if a new person does come along, or maybe this new person has already come along, keeping this on a friendly level is okay, as long as you both are okay with that energy. Clarify the judgment, the two of wands with the death energy here for the outcome. I do feel like you are headed towards happiness. Okay, you are going to be happy once again. It takes time. It takes time. I know everybody hates hearing, especially when they're in the process of healing. Healing isn't easy, guys. That healing vibe that everybody's talking about, oh, positive healing vibes. I say positive healing vibes, guys, because I'm sending positive healing vibes to you because I know this process isn't easy. I wouldn't be able to sit here to do these readings if I hadn't gone through some sort of experience on my own. So keep that in mind, guys. Okay? I'm never here to judge. I'm only here to give messages. What I feel here is coming out, Leo, is your focus needs to be on just feeling balanced okay don't focus on releasing the past energy that's not what you need to focus on because that process is going to happen naturally focus on finding a state of perfect balance of perfect harmony in your life so give and take you know that work-life balance having that home home balance you know your diet balance your sleeping pattern balanced all of those things and once everything is in alignment with exactly what you want your future to be like that's when you attract that person who is in alignment with that future or that's when you're going to be ready for that connection to come together again i do feel like you are headed towards happiness Okay, and are releasing the uncertain energy. Okay, the people who you may have to question their motive. Trust, trust, trust the process here. And again, don't focus on the, the healing process and letting go and da da da, because that process is going to happen naturally. So you're going to naturally be triggered through life experiences. And when those triggers come up, that's when you get to practice what you've learned. So let's pull a few cards out here for your advice, Leo, moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. I am going to be at the Kennewick Public Market in Kennewick, Washington all summer, guys. So if you want an in-person reading... Come down there and check us out. We will have specials all summer long. I will be at Lilith Moon Shop in the Kennewick Public Market. Come by and get a personal reading or just stop by and say hi. So Leo, Eight of Wands, Three of Wands, The Lovers with the Moon Energy. So the lovers is a deep connection, but this is also a choice, guys. This is also a decision that needs to be made. And that's how I feel this is coming out. 
there's definitely a decision that you're needing to be made. And guys, through this process of healing, finding balance, okay, make sure to be aware that you're never going to be able to release the negative aspect of yourself. The negativity, the negativity that we hold within us, it doesn't go away. It just gets quieter. Understand it's an integration process. So you're integrating the dark and the light. Eight of Wands, Three of Wands, the Lovers, the Moon, okay? Conversations coming in that you need to prepare for. This conversation is with a person who you have an intense connection with, okay? Um, there's still a lot of darkness surrounding this person. And just as well as you're not ready, neither are they. So what I feel is coming out here, Leo, is just taking this time with yourself is going to be important. If you feel an intense connection with another person and you feel the need, communicate your waiting. Communicate your position, okay, where you see yourself headed and how you want this person to fit into your future. But if you still feel like you're not ready, then keep the distance. I will say, Leo, that this new person coming in, I feel here that they are your person. It's just like you can't see this yet. Or maybe this is just somebody who at first is going to be a friend and it's definitely going to grow into something more. The moon energy tells me that there's still some energy that's hidden when it comes to this connection, when it comes to you. So again, that integration of the shadow energy is going to be important. Communication is also going to be the key. Okay. So understanding that this connection isn't going to come together quickly for one, and then accepting that, is this something that you want in your life moving forward? Or do you feel like there may be something that's in better alignment, better suited? However, the lover's energy is here. I do feel like you are going to find this is an intense connection. So Leo, soul truth message coming out for your reading. What expectations do I have that are impossible to meet? The expectations we have are mostly delusional and impossible to meet. We then experience disappointment with ourselves or with a relationship when they are not met. It's time to dissolve your expectations and replace them with gratitude. Today's soul action, be grateful. You're being summoned to more peace. Peace is home for our soul and it is accomplished, accompanied by trust. It comes when you surrender and focus only on what you can control. If you expect nothing and are grateful for everything, you will experience extreme fulfillment. And just a side note, Leo, that could also be incorporated into this reading, right? Getting clear on what your expectations are. What do you need in a relationship to make it work? And what are your absolute no's, right? What will you walk away if there's too many of X, Y, or Z? How many chances are you willing to give, right? So Leo, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this week. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.